Hi everybody, this is Jared, and I'm back. Well, sort of. Uh, I thought it was time to come back to social media. I need to do that. Uh, I need to, need to do a little bit more networking, despite how um, how uh, devoted I am to the project I'm working on, even though it's taken me a little bit more time than usual to that I predicted to, uh, to complete it. But uh, I'm still determined to do that, and I'm going to do that no matter how long it takes. Um, but I need to come back to social media. I need to uh, do a little bit more networking. Uh, it's imperative that I do that. I've been neglecting it for too long. I thought that I need to stay away from social media and just do uh, the basics on there, you know, like going on Facebook and checking for, you know, uh, giving birthday acknowledgments and all that. But I, I, in order for me to put myself out there, I need to get back on social media. Um, uh, not that that's, that's not to say that I would not, uh, you know, travel that road again, but. Um, I do. You know, I, I've been away too long, and I, I do. And I, and I miss it. I miss uh, doing these, um, you know, doing these recordings and uh, posting uh, these things on my blog and on uh, on Twitter, Facebook, and what have you. Uh, with that being said, I have a future poet today. One of my favorites, as a matter of fact, one of my influences, uh, and that would be uh, the poet Gwendolyn Brooks. Uh, I'm going to be reading two of her poems today. Um, let me give you a little uh, background on Miss Brooks. There's a lot to say about her, but and I've got some notes here, so I'm going to go by those. But uh, but I don't have a lot, a lot of time because uh, this is going to go on uh, YouTube. So um, I want to just uh, do her justice with the information I have here. Mother, wife, poet, author, and teacher. That. Those were the occupations of Gwendolyn Brooks, uh, who was born in 1917 in Topeka, Kansas. Um, she was a highly regarded, highly honored poet uh, who won many awards for her work. One in particular uh, was she had the distinction of uh, being the first black author uh, to win the Pulitzer Prize in 1950. Uh, she was also a poet consultant for the Library of Congress in 1985, uh, the first black woman to hold that position. Um, she was um, appointed poet laureate in 1968 until her passing. Um, her first poem, Evertide, uh, was published when she was just a mere 13 years of age, and at 16, she had 75 poems published, not to mention being encouraged by the likes of jo James Weldon Johnson and Another one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite poets, Langston Hughes. Uh, her writing ranged from uh, traditional ballads and sonnets to uh, poems using blues rhythms uh, in free verse. Um, her first, uh, let's see, uh, she published quite a, a bit of, of uh, she published a number of books. Uh, the first two, uh, Negro Hero, The Mother, oh, and uh, that also includes uh, A Street in Bronzeville, all published in 1945. Uh, her novella, Maud uh, Martha, in 1953. Uh, the Bean Eaters, uh, which holds her... Um, her favorite, her, her, uh, one of her favorite, fam most famous poems, uh, We Real Cool, uh, was published in 1960. Uh, she taught at the University of Chicago, Columbia uh, College, Chicago, Northeastern Illinois University, and several others. Um, and, you know, she, she lived an interesting, very fruitful, poetic life. Uh, and before she passed away in the year 2000, she was more than ecstatic to, um, to be a mentor to up and coming poets. With that being said, I'm going to read two of her poems. Uh, they are from The Negro Hero, her, her, her first book, Poetry, uh, from the Gay Chaps at the Bar series. The first one is entitled, Still Do I Keep My Look, My Identity. And I'll reiterate that. Still Do I Keep My Look, My Identity. And I hope I do it justice. Each body has its art, its precious prescribed pose that even in passion's draw, contortions, waltzes, or push of pain, or when a grief has stabbed or hatred hacked, is its and nothing else's. Each body has its pose, no other stock that is irrevocable, perpetual, and it's to keep, in castle or in shack, with rags or robes, through good, nothing, or ill, and even in death, a body like no other on any hill or plain, or crawling cot, or gentle for the littlest 
hasting hell, having twisted gag, and then sweet ceased to bother, shows the old personal art, the look, shows what it showed at baseball, what it showed in school. The second and final poem from the same series is entitled, The White Troops Had Their Orders, But the Negroes Looked Like Men. They had supposed their formula was fixed. They had obeyed instructions to devise a type of cold, a type of hooded gaze. But when Negroes came, they were perplexed. These Negroes looked like men. Besides, it taxed time and the temper to remember those congenial inequities that caused disfavor of the darkness, such as boxed their feelings property, complete to tags, a box for dark men and a box for other, would even find the contents had been scrambled or even switched, who really gave two figs. Neither the earth nor heaven even trembled, and there was nothing startling in the weather. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, I'm going to try to find these poems online. I should have done that before I made this recording. Um, if I do, I will, uh, and I will insert a link at the bottom um, of, this, uh, of this post. Uh, but if it's not there, that means I could not find it. But I hope I do. Um, again, I am back, and I'm going to be uh, doing this every two weeks on, on a Thursday. You will, so you will see me. Let me check my calendar here. Um, today is the 3rd. So you which the next post will be on the seventeenth of this month of this month of November. So check me back check back with, with me then. And uh definitely, definitely um you know uh, if you have any questions about any if you have any questions, sorry about that. If you have any questions, please uh, um feel free to ask, uh comment and subscribe uh if you like. I would I would definitely like that. Um and this this definitely will be on my blog, and I'm gonna put it on YouTube. I should, yeah, I'm gonna put it on YouTube as well. So um, please, again, su like, subscribe, comment. Uh, I, I, you know, feel feel free to do that. And uh, again, I will be back and uh, keep reading, guys. Later.